But I think we learn the same of you by describing those processes uh, in a way they would expect us to be the normal. Ladies and gentlemen, in a few minutes we'll be going live on television and the whole nation wants to hear from City West. Let's hear you. <laughs> to introduce the Taoiseach, please welcome Mead's number one man, the Minister for Transport, Noel Dempsey. Accord, Jam. Tonight is one of the most important nights in Fianna Fáil's history. Each of us here knows why. Each and every one of us knows the human truth of the collapse of the global economy. The families under pressure, the constituents who've played by the rules, done the hard yards, and can't believe what's happened to them. They can't believe it, and it fills them with anger. Deep, deep anger. Much of that anger is directed at us, and it will continue to be directed at us. Ireland has been swamped by a global disaster that has been greatly complicated on the home front by economic treason. There's no nice way to describe it. It was economic treason. No more, no less than that. And in common with the people, the length and breadth of this country, I welcome the guard action that was taken this week, as I know all of you do. I welcome that action against people who use the Irish economy as their own personal piggy bank. And the problem, the problem, let us be clear, is one of reckless endangerment of our nation. That's no exaggeration. That's not over the top. The fact is that a small number of sophisticated manipulators, money manipulators, endangered the economic survival of our people. There's no parallel in history for the damage that has been done except perhaps Cromwell. And even Cromwell, even Cromwell was motiv wasn't motivated by reasons of personal gain. We condemn them. Fianna Fáil condemns them. Let that go out loud and clear. We're the party of government. We've been chosen by a majority of voters repeatedly over the past quarter of a century. We have, as a consequence, been in government for the majority of that time. Of course, leaders in every sector of Irish society know prominent Fianna Fáil members of, party, of the party. It's inevitable. People in banking, people in construction would know and would have dealt with senior Fianna Fáil figures down through those years. But that doesn't amount to guilt by association. <laughs> knowing someone, knowing someone, and knowing you have to deal with them doesn't mean that you share their vices or their practices. It doesn't mean because you know a banker or a developer that you tolerate bad practice are rule breaking. I don't know about you, but I'm fed up to about here with cheap assumptions about members of this party. I, on your behalf, on behalf of the members of Fianna Fáil, categorically refute the unsupported rumours that Fianna Fáil approved of bank directors giving themselves larger loans or breaking any rules. And the smear, 
the smear that if we had known we wouldn't have done anything about it, that we would have approved it, is precisely that, a smear. And it's not the first smear that was ever put against Fianna Fáil. We didn't know, we couldn't, and we, we will never, never condone that kind of practice. It's important, ladies and gentlemen, it's important for all of us here to reaffirm the reality that Fianna Fáil stands for what it always stood for, a Republican Party in the real, true, deep sense of that word. A, a party, a party that protects the weak and the vulnerable, a party that stands up to vested interests and a party that values hard work and enterprise. These values are more important than ever at a time when this government is dealing with complex, a complex new situation that gets more complicated and more difficult every day. We are making choices, Hobson's choices, choices between bad and worse. But if we're not brutally effective, quickly, in fixing our finances, then others will do it for us. If that were to happen, we could protest, but nothing would change. If outsiders dictate our economic policies, we won't be worried about a pension levy. We'd be looking at pay cuts of 30 or 40 percent, or more even. We'd be looking at job losses and job cuts. We'd be looking at very serious situation for Ireland. And we in Fianna Fáil will fight to ensure that that does not happen. <laughs> but preventing that, preventing that causes huge and justified anger as individuals and families who worked very, very hard find themselves now poorer than they should be, find themselves in a space they shouldn't be. That's the truth, and we must not deny that truth. Much of the anger, as I say, is directed against us. That's the truth. We mustn't shirk that truth. Much of that anger will continue to be directed at us. That's a truth. We must live with it. I'm not saying it's not painful 